Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today is gonna to be a short tutorial. In fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to show you how actually I make WordPress websites. One of the uh, subscribers asked me, how do I uh, develop websites in WordPress and what kind of a technology I use? And to be honest with you, it's so simple. What I use is a local server on my computer that is called local let's go to the actual browser so i'm going to show you what i'm talking about so if you go to localwp.com this is local by uh, flywheel i think it's called and it's a there are two versions there's a free version and the pro version i use the free version so if i go to the pricing i can actually show you here And as you can see, you got the free forever and the twenty dollars per month. Of course, for twenty more, you know, twenty dollars, you get extra um, features that you can actually use. For example, the pre-launch tools. All right. So without any delay, uh, what you want to do is download the app, and you can choose Mac, Windows, Linux, and once you've done so, you go to install it. I already have the actual copy because I already, that's the way I do things. So I'm gonna close this one here. And I'm going to open the local by Flywheel. And there we go. Uh, this is the actual site that I have created. And the database, the overview and all the utilities are here. If you want to open the mail org so you can actually uh, simulate sending and receiving emails you can view the site and admin is quite simple to use really and here is the website that I actually created this is the one I use mainly for uh, tutorials in WordPress so let's go back again uh, to the website uh, If I go to the all features, you can actually see what it comes for free. There are many other things that you need to pay for it, but again, uh, to be honest, there's a lot of things that you can actually add to WordPress. For example, if you want to uh, uh, back up and uh, you know want to move your website to a live site, for example, you can use WP Vivid. Again, you can actually search one of my videos. I made one. I will uh, link the actual video below and maybe I'll add uh, a card if I can. But all the information you need are on the actual website. Documentation and more. We got the pro version if you want to uh, have a go with the, you know, with the one, it's up to you. But again, as I said, I use the free version. So let's go back and uh, let me show you how I do create a new WordPress. It's very simple and it's very fast. So uh, let me stop this site here now, the one I use, and it's stopping as you can see here. Now with this uh, app, you can actually create a live link so people from outside uh, if you use your own uh, computer, for example, and you are behind a firewall, you can use the live link so people can actually go and see. And, you know, you, you get a, a link that you can need to send to wherever you want to send it to so they can actually be able to, to view the actual website. So anyway, that one has been stopped. Let's start and click on the plus icon. So I'm going to call it any name you want on your site. I'm going to call it again, open source and that's what i'm going to do it i'm going to advance option if you want to so it's going to be open source local you can use a blueprint if you want to create a blueprint and this is what is the actual path where the actual website is going to be um saved okay so i'm going to continue i'm going to see here what kind of environment i wanted to i can choose preferred and this is what it comes with, the PHP 735, web server NGX, and MySQL.8.0. Uh, you know, or you can have the actual custom. Again, you can choose the version you want. 
you can have 5.6735741 again web server apache or you can have ngx and the database again there are two versions uh, three versions to choose for i'll be going to actually prefer that's what i'm going to use i'm going to click continue now i'm going to create the wordpress username and password i'm going to create a simple uh, password and email and username so i can actually remember so is that the mean at open source dot local so i can actually uh, use that program i told you earlier on to simulate the uh, email sending so i'm going to click now on add site and as you can see it's quite straightforward and really shouldn't take long So as you can see, the actual website has been created. Now I can actually go to the MDB side or the actually the viewed site. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to click on a new tab here and I'm going to go to open source dot local. And there we go here. We got the open source website that's been created. And I can actually go to the admin side as you can see it now wp admin and i'm going to add the admin credentials and i should be logged in no time and here we go how easy it is to install wordpress and this is how i do it all the development and the staging and everything so let's go back to the actual um, local uh, app and here you can see the web server you can change to apache again you can do things like this you can change the version if you wanted to if you want to try if you got errors this is the domain you can change that to a different locale and again you can actually add believe it or not the open source local trust so that means he was going to create a uh, ssl certificate for this and uh, in no time uh, you know sometimes i think it takes about a couple of minutes uh, but sometimes even 20 seconds and it depends on how busy you know perhaps is the process is but again it looks like everything is done now let's have a look again if i go back to the open source here and i'm going to do https let's try the and there we go as you can see we got now the, cert the certificate and everything is secure so let's put the password again for the admin and as you can see now we have a fully working SSL certificate as well for your local um, website so this is how easy it is this is the database you can do at the minor if you want to change part of the database is up to you again we got the open mail log uh, to uh, simulate the actual um, um, mail sending and then we got the pro version of it if you want to do other things again that is about 20 pounds i think or 20 dollars per month i think uh something like that anyway this is how easy it is and uh, hey guys thanks again for uh, joining me for these uh, small tutorials i hope you enjoy that perhaps i'm going to do more videos if you like this one and i'm going to explain a little bit more how is my workflow and how i create websites using local before i actually send it out in uh, you know i send it out live but again don't forget you can actually enable the live link and then you can actually copy and send that link to perhaps your customers or wherever you want the actual uh, person you want to you know you want to send it to so they can actually look the actual website live again as you can see here the actual li uh, live link has been created i'm going to copy so before i go i can actually show you what i'm talking about and as i said maybe in the actual future if you want if it gets enough likes uh, see if i get about five to six hundred likes i might do a 
uh, sequel, you know, for this one here. And uh, here we go. With, we got the NG Rock IO, so you can actually see the open source is available outside and it's quite fast to be honest with you. So yeah, thanks guy again and I'll see you next tutorial.